On March 1st, we reported that the Beijing Municipal Bureau of Commerce and Industry will implement a series of restrictions on the sales of milk powder, especially through online venues. In fact, the original story from the Chinese news agencies had Beijing banning online sales of milk. The reality is that the Chinese government is requiring vendors handling bulk products, dairy products, or prepackaged foods to obtain a food license within one of those groups. For milk powders, there will be additional licensure to guard against black market sales. Yesterday, China Beat reported from Zhou Bohua, the director of the State Administration for Industry and Commerce, who says a new set of rules are due to come out from the government on milk powder. Specifically, infant formula will have a chain of manufacturing to be controlled. The new rules for breeders, milk powder producers, salespeople, and standardization that Joe hopes will revive the Chinese milk producing industry. Today, we find that Tmall made an announcement on the day Beijing put restrictions on the online sales, March 1st, that the online business to consumer site will work directly with milk producers Dannon and Nestle to sell dry infant formulas. And these are some of the most popular foreign brands sold in China. And the foreign brands make up over 70% of the powdered milk sales in China. Tmall said they will feature the Dannon Caracare, Nutrilon, Cowgate, and Dumex brands. For Nestle's brands, Tmall will create a sales site for Nan HA and Wyeth products. It was reported by the Beijing News that milk powder has become the second largest agent purchasing product from overseas. In fact, many other food e-commerce platforms, such as eHaudian, also sell imported milk powders. But most of them are provided by distribution agencies instead of directly supplied from overseas. Another restriction to combat the black market sales of milk powder was the restriction Hong Kong Customs placed on the limit of milk powder a person could carry across the customs border with mainland China. People were buying milk powder by the case in Hong Kong and then selling it online to mainland customers. Over the first week of the restriction, Hong Kong Customs arrested 25 milk smugglers at the border.